Hello everybody, it's this guy again here, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Dragon Quest Monsters! Yeah! We're gonna go and go into Fort Knox because that's the where we made it into last time, but... Oh snaps, everyone is very powerful and beats me up. So, I didn't want to get too into it because I knew it was going to be kind of a hard challenge to overcome. But I've done a little bit of off-camera grinding, and uh, probably not enough, you know. Knowing how things go, and, uh, yeah, it's all stinky, smoky, poisony again. What, who's this? Oh, it's the bag of flour. And gas bagging. Oh, what the? Okay. Well, that's okay. We don't have to worry about them. But we are here, and we're gonna go ahead and try to make our way through this fantastic zone of fun. So, I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, wow, it's Saturday, and that is heavy metal. Um, but my team is a little bit better. I mean, there's still plenty of work to do. But I'm happy that we are together. I still miss my Platypunk very, very, very much. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to find a way to get some kind of duck friend back, I feel like. I don't know. But my team's coming along, I think. Uh, we have, you know, clearly a spellcaster now with Iron Maiden. Yeah! Heavy metal! And... We got some good attack power going. We got some good... Just, just all kinds of goodness going. So I'd like to get stronger. I'd like to go through this area. Wow, the frames were really crusty there. And, oh wow, they're, they're just coming to get me. And maybe we can uh, get past this this part here. Now, it, I don't think I can catch these restless armors. They're probably not ready for me to be catching them yet. But it is, they are a good find, I think. Really good find. So look at all the skelly arms we have. That's wild to think about. These guys are a little easier. You know, interestingly enough, the uh, the spiky slimes in this area have been the hardest monsters to defeat. With their spiky skin, you know, we're just getting all kinds of damage thrown back at us. But uh, everyone else has been, you know, decently beatable. So hopefully we can beat this area, because I don't really like this area that much. We got brought over here by some, some knight who's like, yeah, I want to beat... Uh, Yes, absolutely. I want to beat my mentor. Why? Because he became too evil. It's like, well, you we're, we're kind of on that path ourselves. So, you know what that means, right? Eventually, we're going to have to be defeated. Oh, what the? This area looks very confusing. There's a ladder. There's a couple rooms intersecting. Oh. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a mess. There's a couple... Second floor options. Oh, what the? It's a goblin demon. Gremlin. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> goblin demon gremlin. That's what. It, that's exactly what it is. He doesn't quite live under a bridge. He's not a troll. Gremlins are here to ruin your day. They're to get into your system and frozen midair. I don't know how that even works. You know, we're decently powerful against these guys. And we did beat the uh, rank D in Endor, which, you know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a couple levels up. Would Gremlin like to join me? That'd be cool. No. No Gremlin for me. I would imagine we'd be able to beat the uh, the Molosseum rank D thing at some point here. Oh, snap. There's like a whole loading state transition to get up here. This area does not have good frames, though. <laughs> that's not your internet, that's the game. Chugging along in this zone. This is a lot going on. Oh, what the? It's like a lizard man. Ha <laughs> I stomped on his head. It's like Mario Brothers out here. Oh, it's Mandrake Major. He's a man, he's a dragon, and he's a major. So he's not a Mandrake as in, like, the plant. But he's a man who's a drake. Like the lizard man from Dark Souls. I would like to... He only did one damage? Nice. That was pretty good. Zappity zappity. I feel like my Iron Maiden is so tiny compared to, like, other Iron Maidens is. Oh. Like, the one we saw in the... Whatever zone that was, was absolutely massive. Was it the candy zone? The sweet zone? She's, like, the tiny edition. Twelve talent points! 
Oh, that's good. She actually needs that, because I want to get her zap going. I don't know when they determine when you get zap. Uh, you can get numb. You can get comfortably numb! Paralyze a single enemy for two to five turns. Higher the caster's wisdom, the more likely the spell is to succeed. Well, what is Iron Maiden's wisdom? So she tiny. She's so tiny. Pretty good. Oh, there's one up here just hanging out. He looks like he's trying to, like, rule the roost. Oh, delicious smoked sirloin. Hmm. You know what? That actually sounds good. Oh, I'd love to have some kind of delicious meat meal like that. Yeah. Well, you know, as they say, it's always worth a shot. Jeez, those guys do hit hard. I feel like I'm okay for this area. It's just some of these guys that I was around, you know, having to defeat to get over here in the first place. They were, they were nasty. They were pretty tough. But these guys in here actually seem a little bit more reasonable, and I feel like that's kind of been the way this this game's gone. You got to work very hard to get to the zone the ending zone, and then you get to the ending zone. It's not terrible. Oh, we got a Frenzy Dragon! I don't know how my team is so far, like in the grand scheme of things, but I like them. I think we've made a couple cool choices here. And, you know, eventually they will get fed into the machine of, of more good choices. It's just sad. Everything is temporary. You know, it's like the NFL stands for not for long. Dragon Quest monsters are also not for long. Oh, what hit that gremlin? Dude, <laughs> Skelly's not messing around. <laughs> Skelly says, no you. Nice. Yeah, see, not really uh, having too much trouble. I looked up um, some of the other monsters that are in this game, and there are a couple good ones you can get, you know, in the higher ranks. I, I didn't know how many monsters there were in this game. Where am I ending up, though? That's the real question. Oh, they're guarding... They're learning how to high jump from a gremlin. But they're blocking treasure, so... I'm sorry to ruin your little training exercise here. <laughs> These guys are probably gonna beat me up. Watch it be a mimic. Oh, what the? There's only two exoskeletons? Nice. Well, the good news is I probably defeated all of them, so I can get whatever's in this treasure box. Yeah, treasure! Unless it's a mimic and it eats me. You know, there were no mimics in the arcade school that I can recall in Dragon Quest Treasures, which I think is very bizarre. I feel like that game should have had multiple mimics, because you're just, you're finding treasure. Mimics, by nature, are treasure. So... Yeah, I don't really understand. But that's okay, that doesn't matter. We are here, we're playing Dragon Quest Monsters. Oh snap, they're having a little training session. It's like when you first get into the zone, it gets super frame rate crusty. But going back down to one, this feels very dungeony. Like, I'm very much a Dungeoneer right now. What the? There's a- oh, there's a thing. There's a way blocking. How's the Jinxter sleeping like that? That looks comfortable. Would that be comfortable? I feel like I'd, I'd like sleeping. You know, they say he likes like sleeping on a cloud. He's sleeping on nothing. He's just floating. 
could sleep anywhere if you could float. I'd totally be dead. Ah, he's awake. And he's dead. Defeated! Oh, so close, Skelly. Alright! Well, we gotta figure out how we're gonna get through this spot here. Oh, you just opened the door. It did not look openable at all. If I would have not walked up there, I probably would have ran around here looking for a button or something for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh! I was expected to be like, it's locked, you can't come in here. Oh, it's a sleepy zone. Why do they have like construction lights in here? I just invaded their little hotel room. Their barracks, I guess, if you want to call it. This is a fort! Can I sleep here? It's like no wonder these guys are all asleep. They're in the sleepy zone. Yes! Yeah, Skelly's level 22! Oh, so powerful! There's pots to smash, at least. Let's see if I can find something good in them. Mystery meat! Now, compared that to smoked sirloin, I think I'd rather have a smoked sirloin. But you know what? Some monsters might might like the uh, mystery meat. I'm not a mystery meat man. Oh, good! I was looking for a mini medal. I was hoping there would be one here. I wonder how many I'm up to. I, I gotta be able to get a new prize from from our metal friend over there. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just walking through the hall. Hey, gonna get beat up. Oh, I thought it was an auto battle. Magic water? Ooh, I wonder what that tastes like. I would love to have some magic water right now. Maybe even some regular water would be refreshing. Okay, it doesn't look like we've quite made it anywhere. I mean, this is the very beginning still, so I've got a little bit of a uh, wandering around I gotta do. Good battle. Yeah, getting through these guys pretty quickly. It's like with these weird difficulty walls, you suddenly get strong and you feel like you're good. And then they knock you back down to size. Things to break. Look, I thought this was like a, a cafeteria. I was all excited. I was like, hmm, food. Got beds and, and, and food, but no, it's like a science room. Science Academy, because science rules. Skulls are bad medicine. Your love is like bad medicine. Should I mess with these wizards who are alchemizing? No, they look like they're having a good time. It was like music notes and stuff. They're happy. I don't want to mess with them if they're happy. Even if they are the bad guys. Or am I the bad guy? I don't even know what's going on anymore. For some reason, I thought I'd be able to talk to them. I don't know why. I didn't actually want to fight them. Level 25 for my robot friend. 
I wish I could use all of them, like, at once. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tried to avoid one to run straight into the other one. That's alright. Oh, yes, another one hit, because we're so powerful! I could do this all day. Go up this ladder, see what's up here. Since there's multiple zones to go into. Upstairs, some downstairs, some different rooms. It's, yeah, this is a pretty proper looking maze zone. I let them get me. I thought it'd be cool to fight these guys again. I don't feel like I'm overleveled. I feel like I'm, I'm competent at this right now. Ooh, critical! Bam! Haha, <laughs> you got zapped. Zap is good, and Iron Maiden levels up! Level 26! Oh, getting so good! It's very exciting. So I think, at the very least, I should have one spellcaster and in reserves, I should have a healer. What are y'all doing? Trying to research the secret of evolution? I feel like they're up to something. They're definitely up to something. But then it's like, who's gonna be my healer? Who's gonna be the one who can... Make sure we are ha happy and healthy. And I wish Iron Maiden had a better uh, spell casting ability. I hate that I found that zap scroll and then had to like lose all those talent points. But maybe I can make her into into something. Anti magic powder! Yeah! Oh, we got the powder. Let's go in this room. Those still don't look openable to me, but that's okay. Three seeds of skill. Skills to pay the bills. I wish you'd like talk to these guys. Not all the monsters want to fight you. Oh no, we've been sizzled by the sizzler. Nicely done, Skelly. Leveled up again. Yeah, we're good. I think when I finish this, I will try the rank D at the Molosseum. Mall and Lucky See him. I think that'd be a good thing to do here. And then, obviously, you know, try to capture as many of these monsters as you can for synthesis purposes. Okay, so if we are getting close to the end though, that's going to be kind of an issue because we're a little hurt, but, you know, if I activate the, the teleport, the portal, the mortal portal, I think that'd be good because we can go back. We get healed up and then we can come back. And there's still parts of this, this area that I've not explored yet, so it might be worth wandering around.
You're in the middle of training, and, and he, he sees me and he comes and gets me. My bad, dude. My bad. I guess we're not that hurt. I guess, Call Dragon is the one who's mostly hurt, but... You know, Call Dragon also has the ability to heal, and I think I just have all out for... For all of them, as far as our tactics go. So maybe... Oh, Show No Mercy, yeah. Um, weaken the enemy, support allies, focus on healing, don't... We're just, like... Prize for use of powerful skills and no concern for conserving MP. Focus on healing. Don't use magic. You can have better tactics than this. Like, just attack, like, normally. And heal if it comes to it. No. It's fine. I, ju I, just, I just want, like, a normal. <laughs> Instead of me having to select that. And magic hasn't really been an issue. I mean, it's probably because we're leveling up so much, but magic magic points itself hasn't really been an issue. Like, everyone uses their skills and stuff, so it it hasn't been, like, dire. That, like, oh no, we, we keep running out of MP. No, that hasn't been the case at all. Let's try to scout this Mandrake Major again! Haha, <laughs> we got him! Haha, <laughs> cool. That was exciting. Welcome to the team, Major Mandrake. He is, he's rank E. Also dragon. Pretty cool. Soggy Slasher. Mm. I don't like things getting soggy. <sighs> well, that'll be good to have, I think. Something we don't have to synthesize. You know, it's, it's wild to me to think about. So, Monsterpedia. I only have scouted 16% of the monsters in this game. And I've been playing a decent amount. There's another stairs. Oh, it goes up to four? Oh my gosh, where, where is this going to take me? I know you probably need to get to the top, but I'm, I'm exploring. I could probably spend all day in this zone trying to figure it out. Oh, this is a... This brings me down to one, but I think this is a whole different spot that I couldn't get to on one? You know they're, they're hiding the good spooky secrets in this place. They gotta be. They're just... There has to be the good stuff. <laughs> Again. Heartbreaker. Dream Maker. Alright, my heavy metal friends, let's go down here and see what is happening. Please, like, actually be worth... Like, have this be a door I can open. Like an Elden Ring or Dark Souls. Just be like, shortcut. Mm, nope, that's a section that's just amongst itself. Among us. That's fine. We can fight. Oh, double gremlins. <laughs> they just, they die so quickly. Dragon's level 31. Oh, that's good. I think, I think... Oh, we got some mystery meat out of the deal, too. I think, uh... Call Dragon needed some. Oh, dang. This is the treasure zone. This is the treasure zone of Fort Knox. You know, if you've ever wanted to get in there and figure out what's in there, well, we did it. I 
can't wait to see what kind of delicious prizes we got out of this. Speaking of delicious prizes, I should probably be putting, like, accessories on my monsters. That way they can get a little bit of extra bonus power. POWER! Like, I think I have, like, Wisdom Ring. Look at this, there's, like, gold bars! I like gold! You should be, you should be able to do stuff with this, you should be able to take these. Let's see, we got... Defense Booster Scroll 1, and we have... A Yggdrasil Leaf. Well, I said this is where the spooky secrets would be, and, uh... It's kinda right. Let's see, uh, accessories. Iron Maiden, you need a Ring of Wisdom. And Call Dragon, you need a Strength Ring. And Cross Eye, you can have. Oh wow, there's lots of stuffs. You can have. What is what is clear thinker? I don't know. Eh, let's let's give you some asbestos. Enjoy that mesothelioma, cross eye, and then you, good sir, my skelly, can have the asbestos belt. Yeah. <laughs> That way you can have some attack power extra. They get more attack power. They'll be very good. They'll be very powerful. I kind of forgot about accessories. I wish you could do, like, full-on equipment and stuff like you could in, um, regular Dragon Quest games. But I understand that all, not all monsters can wear all things. If you had a way to strengthen them, I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, back up to three we go. This is definitely a hefty area. I mean, I've been playing for close to 30 minutes, and this is what I've been focusing on, so yeah. Big zone. Big zone full of power. Let's see, I don't know if we would want another one, but let's just get another one. Uh oh. Excuse me while I do no percentage to catch this guy. I don't understand that. I think it should be opposite. If you already have them, you should know what, what makes them tick. Cold Stunner! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, wow, we are... Iron Maiden! Heavy Metal! Slayer! Pantera! <laughs> These guys are patrolling. I was about to say, they're not patrolling very well. I walked right by without them even noticing. <laughs> I could have gotten away, but I did not. I'm just like, ah, eh, I don't like this guy. Fight these guys, see how they go. Man, I love auto battle. helpful with the grinding, and I'd like to play more games that kind of auto-grind for you. I'm a fan of the idle games out there in the world. <laughs> I just stood there. I'll start with Cookie Clicker. Remember Cookie Clicker? Cookie Clicker was a good time. 
hopefully everything since then has just never quite hit the spot. Now they're all monetized too? Like, I don't want to play a monetized idle game. Like, what? Just random pots around that have absolutely nothing in them. Wait, is that another room back here? There is another room back here that doesn't lead to... Where are we going, Treebeard? Oh my gosh. I think I understand. Where are we going, Treebeard? Oh, these guys are having a little hangout time, and I'm just gonna be a jerk and steal their treasure. Nope, just want the treasure. Dimium? Yes. Good thing these guys are easy to defeat. You know what? I know you aren't going to survive this round, but <laughs> is there a chance I could I can grab one? Guess not. So, oh, okay. So there is. A canna box here. We don't know where it is, but there is apparently a canna box here. I haven't got any of those guys yet. Okay. It wasn't a good freeze frame. Alright, gremlin. Let's see if I can grab this gremlin. He's rank G. Okay, now we have the gremlin. <laughs> Gremlin get. Got. Good. Go gravy. That looks like a canna box right there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Because all the other treasures have been like nice and, and shiny and gold, and this one just looks like brown. It's like, that looks suspicious, just hanging out here in the middle of the floor. But, we'll see. Oh, it's monster manure. Who would put that in a chest? What are you thinking? Oh, that's terrible. I bet that smelled terrible too. Ah! <laughs> I tried to leapfrog over that guy. It's like watching football where somebody tries to hurdle over another player completely. And then they just get flipped on their head. Pretty bad time. You know, Iron Man's doing pretty good in the uh, the defense department. I think I think that was the whole point. Is she's like a defensive mage. Can't believe they. I relegated my my bullfinch. Let's see. Uh, 175 defense, 175 wisdom. That would do it. Nobody else has... Well, Clockwork Cuckoo kind of does. Nobody else has that much defense. Hunter Mech's got good attack, though. Mm. Yeah, I like my team. I've never had a problem with my team. Easily gain like 10 levels just going through this zone. Back down we go. Where we end up, nobody knows. Just flying around this area. Oh, what the, there's just a ladder right here. Me. Looks good to me. This is. Definitely a place where you're gonna want the warp thingy. I'm glad I didn't attempt to do this last time I played, because I would not have had time for this. I would have gotten part way through of like, man, I gotta start all the way over next time. I'm like, where the heck is the exit? Oh. Oh, it's way over here. It's just a process to get through. It's fine. It's all part of the experience. Make sure there's no treasure. And a ladder. 
Imagine, like, working here. How many ladders do you have to get through? No elevators. Anywhere. Not wheelchair accessible. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Oh, I'm gonna sneak up behind this guy. Okay, so, yeah, that's gonna get me to the fourth floor, which will hopefully be the end. It's just one of those cases of just... You never know what you're really gonna get yourself into. Like, I get all the way to the end, which might be fine if we get the warp thingy. But the boss might be absolutely miserable, so all this fighting will have definitely been worth it. Get intimidated by the Cyclops. He's just like rocking. Rocks back and forth. Like, he's got anxiety. It's, it's okay. He's okay. I get it, big guy. Big guy, cross eye. Nothing to laugh at. They just, they get like that. They get overwhelmed, and this is very overwhelming. There are so many bad guys to defeat. I feel like I used Cross Eye in one of the older Dragon Quest monster games. I'd love to find that. I have, I think I mentioned I have the guide I found for Dragon Quest Monsters 2. I'd like to look at that one again. See what monsters are in that game. These games have always been good. They've always had a very broad selection of monsters, so I've always liked them. A bonus ball! You enjoying the treasure zone? Because I'm enjoying the treasure zone. Oh snap, that's a, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, and he's dead. That's okay. I was gonna see if I could scout him since everyone else was, but... Treat? Man, we're just finding all kinds of meat <laughs> meat treasure in here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, that makes me laugh so hard. I don't know why. Just opening a box and like just there's just meat hanging out there. Like some poor monster stashed those away for a later date that they're gonna munch on. And I'm just going through and stealing their snacks. Pissarro is a snacks raider. There's no tomb raiding here, they're just snack raiding. S N A X snacks 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 Fort Knox snacks You know what would be good right now for some snacks? Just a big bowl of popcorn Popped fresh mmm like movie theater butter Oh man It's that girl again and I almost went to the movies yesterday but uh movie There weren't any good times for movies and it had already been a long day with work and stuff, so we're just like, yeah, let's just get home. <laughs> but, oh man, the snacks do sound good. Maybe one of these days soon, we'll get back to the movie theater. I haven't been to the movies since uh, Super Mario Brothers was in the theater. That's the last thing we saw. And then before that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so, you know, the, the video game repertoire for, for movies is, is, is out there. <laughs> it's a bit way back now. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, when, when was uh, Mario movie in theaters? Not the 1993 one, because <laughs> that's a ways back. April 5th, 2020. Has it really been that long? Holy cow! I'm losing my mind. Time just flies. That's not cool. 
Yeah, Iron Maiden, the Trooper. <laughs> Mystery me. I feel like I just saw that movie in theaters. And like I had been seeing it and gotten onto like streaming and stuff like that, but I didn't think it had been that long. Ah, I couldn't avoid them all. Someone did um, a slow cover of the Trooper from Iron Maiden, and frankly, I hated it. <laughs> I'm like the whole song is just like really good heavy metal, yeah. And then and then there's this slow version. I'm like, why? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that to this incredible song? I'm, I'm too much of a metal head. Just anything that's not metal. Just can't. Can't do it. You slow down an incredible song and make it all sappy and stuff. I get the lyrics. Like, you want to tell more of the story with the lyrics, but... Don't, don't do that to metal. I'm sorry. You're, you're ruining it. You didn't make it better. Is the end. Um, I believe there is a post story. I have not gotten there yet. I am still pretty early in the game myself. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I know there's endgame stuff. I read about it, but I don't know what specifically there is for it. So I, I honestly don't even know how far I am into this game. It's about. Like the middle echelon, which I guess middle of the game? I don't know. <laughs> but I do know this is a pretty lengthy game with a lot of monsters to catch. And uh, a, re a review I read said that the post game wasn't that lengthy. So, but we'll see. Let's see, I'll, I'll get to there eventually. Let's see if I can get back to the beginning doing this. Finally, 45 minutes nearly into this, this session. Finally made it to the end of the zone. Oh, that's what that little platform was when I walked in. Okay, I was like, there's a plaque here. Wow. Ah! I think I am going to get healed up. And then we'll, we'll fight the boss if that's what's going on here. Cause that was a lot of work, but I think we leveled up a decent amount to where we should be okay. These guys are giving me less and less trouble. Monsters have been fully healed! Alright, cool. Let's... Head right back. At least it's that simple. By the way, everyone is full capacity for the big fight coming up. I don't know what I've got myself into, but I think the hard part's over. And we can just warp right back there. I hope I did a good job sweeping through this tower and finding all the treasure, because that's... Th that was huge. I mean, I don't think I ever went to this top area, but I, I think it's okay. I think... And move directly to the inner area. Yes, the inside part. Let's do it. And get all wavy. I think just another giant knight guy. He's, oh, I have to go up the ladder. To the fifth floor? No, back down to the third floor. How weird is that? Yes, 526 monsters, that's true. Now I'll show you, um, I actually just looked at that a minute ago, where I've been playing this game for... Oh, I can't Darius, show you. we got a cutscene! Cease thy wicked right! Traitorous wretch! 
Have you forgotten you owe your rust-ridden life to Lord Barbatos? This is it for you, you clanking ingrate! You're done for! Oh, just get right into it. Okay. It's the Shade Thrower! He's here. He's throwing shade. Oh, he's got friends, too. Well, I guess I'll just do what I usually do and just let them kind of figure it out myself. Probably need to... Oh no, I had the opportunity to put anti-sleep things on them, and I did not. And they are sleeping. This isn't even who we came here to defeat. This is just like some guy. Oh wow, I didn't know you could sleep twitch, but that was amazing. There's one Hawkman down. Man, these guys, their double attacks are getting me. Their allies down. We can finish this guy up now. Oh, please don't tell me this is like a twofer. Okay, now I've got to... Heal Skelly, because that's going to be a problem. Special... Ah, eh, let's just use Strong. I think... I think yeah. I need to do a little bit more than that, but that's okay. Oh, we got the Call Dragon Frenzied. Oh. <laughs> I healed just for him to get defeated. That's fine. He needed to be healed up anyway. 4,000 XP. Nice! He's got two guys leveled up. Skelly's back. Okay, I didn't even have to heal Skelly, because he would have got all the stats back anyway. Damned! Rust bucket! Can you say that? I can take you with me at least! Watch out! Oh, Pissarro, he just. he took a bullet for this guy he literally just met like an hour ago. Good oh, that's right, he can't. Thou weathered that mighty blow? For me? Clanking. Treacherous. Fool. <laughs> Into the afterlife. Look! The sky is brightening! The healing rays of the sun! Oh, that's right. I forgot we had to do all that all for do. the weakness. I thought we were coming here to defeat Barbatos. <laughs> well, cool. That wasn't that bad then. Are you good, bro? Good, sir. Thou risked thy life to save mine, though honor did not demand it. I hereby vow to be the one to save thee next time. As such, wilt thou allow me into thy service? Sure, why not? I we can always use more friends on this honored. journey. I shall do as thou biddest, fine sir, as thy steadfast sword and shield. And once Barbatos is overthrown, this land shall finally know freedom. The end is close at hand. But first, there is something I would like to present thee. I shall strike out for thy tower, and bid thee join Anon. Anon? Anonymous? They're here too? Well, it should be much easier for you to scout monsters here now. Yes, easier. A 3% like bonus. Alright, well, that wasn't bad at all. That was more journey getting there than anything else. Okay, so, I have played this for... Let's do a quick save. 15 hours, 15 minutes, 39 seconds. That's pretty good. And I have found 16.6% of the monsters in this game. So, yes, there are a lot, a lot of monsters to get through here. <laughs> it's like that one Pokemon's game. Alright, well, this isn't bad. We're in the control room, and I wonder if they're controlling over here. 
want to press buttons. I want to hit computers. Nope, can't really do anything. Okay, well, I thought it'd be cool. But we can go and head back to our tower for once. I don't even think I had to do all this. I can just warp out. Rose Hill Tower. This is where they want me to go. That's so convenient. It used to be in the old games where you could not warp out of caves and towers and stuff like that. You had to be outside. So this just saves a couple minutes. Okay. Um, oh, we gotta go, like, Mysterious Power Prevents Zooms. Oh, dear! I'm sorry, what, what are we doing? Why can't I do anything now? Maybe the travel gates themselves want me to go. I guess they do. Examine. Return to Rose Hill. Okay, yeah, I guess they want me to go back to Rose Hill proper, not Rose Hill Tower. You have reached Rose Hill. Thank you. I did that on purpose. What's up here? Oh, this is like Rose's room. Oh, toiling. Oh, she's still worried about him. Have you noticed? Rose has been looking jelly down in the dumps lately. Slurp. So Percival is going to go and fight at the arena for me. When it comes time in Chapter 2 of Dragon Quest 4. Oh, snap, I forgot about you. I got news for you. There's Explain another yourself. tourney taking place in Endor right now. But not for monsters. For humans. Which is just perfect for you, my third end. Yeah, I'll sign up and not show up and everyone will be like, what? What happened to him? eyes peeled for heroic types. And what better place to go looking than a fur-flinging contest like this? I love the backwards explanations for all these things that happened in 4. <laughs> Furnishing you with all this fine information. I'm categorically Let's see what prevents him from actually showing up at the tournament. Could ever hope to find. That's how the Yeti now and Percival along to Endor and sign up as quick as you can. end up doing the tournament the along with two other the characters that we don't even know who they are. It's like some boomerang guy and uh, Vivian, I think was her name. She's She's got, um, she does magic. She's like a sorceress or something. There was Rourke who was like a boomerang guy, if I remember correctly, too. Of course, these are all the old translations. I don't know what they are now. But I guess I don't really have a choice in the matter. I guess I do. They, I can go anywhere I want. That's cool. Okay, examine, go to Endor. Yes, I loved in Star Wars when they go to Endor because I always thought about this place. So I was like, ah, Endor, the castle. I thought it was raining here, but it was just the... Shush, go and talk to someone else. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit head up before the big fight. What, what do you mean, head up? Also, my controller battery's low. This is the Endor Coliseum. There's a special tourney for human combatants on right now. Well, it seems the Monster Mega Brawls are on hold for now. Fighting mono a mono isn't my cup of tea. I'll be watching from the stands this time. Squawk! I heard Zangiel, the Omniarch, went the way of the Dodo. I want to see if we can see, like, the the heroes. You set your sights on conquering the Coliseum too, eh? In that case, what do you say to making a match with my monster? If you have a Komodo among your ro roster, I believe it would make an absolutely ideal partner for mine. Of course, you're free to pick whichever monster you deem most suited. Entirely your discretion. Now please nominate the monster you would like. Uh, what do you have? Oh, he has a Nard Dragon. Kind of, kind of low rank. Oh, oh, this Komodo. Oh, for a drag racer. Okay, well that might be worth looking into. Just 
gonna do a quick scrub through all these, see if there's anything else that looks cool. Got a couple options for drag racers. Not just Komodo, but eh, that might be worth doing just because. I don't think anything else matches up as nicely. Yeah. We'll come back to this guy, I think. Should you change your mind? Just say the word. I'm trying to get some Mary Princess Veronica. I don't know about that. She's young enough to be my daughter. Oh, so in combat bat tourneys, you humans have to tangle with each other. I fear my master will be beaten to a pulp. <laughs> Nothing in here. I don't really understand the purpose for that, but that's okay. Hey there, handsome bitch here. There's a close combat tourney happening right now. If you want to enter, have a word with the lovely lady here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. But first, I want to walk outside. See if there's anything different about this place. Probably not. That's it. In the ribs. Work the body. Oh my word, whatever came over me. God, us forgive me. I thought there were no monster mega brawls going on right now. Hello there, fancy light entertainment young sir. I put on an L of the show. Uh, time to say, how about pairing up one of your monsters with one of mine? If you're to pair up an eraser blade with my little critter, I reckon we have a proper crowd please on our hands. Not that it's my business telling you what to do. I'd be happy enough with, with whichever monster you think fits the bill. Happy days. Let's see what you picked out for a special little monster. What do you have? You have... Oh, a Scornet. Oh, rank E. That's pretty solid. <laughs> Gonna do a little bit more. Oh, there's Duck. I need my Duck friend. Back. I miss my Duck friend. We have another special mushroom. crab a dab a -doo. Work is only rank F. Oh, you can have a, a Saccharin Sack Squatch, which is a rank D. That's solid. Um, nothing here. Munger. Yep. Crying shame, I tell you, real crying shame. I think I never got a chance to show you my gorgeous little darling. Well, you did. Oh, I have been trying to get more into the streaming thing uh, over the past couple weeks, honestly. So I haven't really, but I'm trying to make more of a habit of doing it because I like to do it. I think it's fun. And this tourney, it's an old-fashioned test of physical strength. Battle of pure brawn. What a delightful palate cleanser. Okay, well, let us go down to the lobby and we will see what keeps us from fighting in this tournament because I know the real story here. And once I do this, I go back, try to do the Molosseum, then I'm going to try to catch some more guys. We're holding a tourney of combat for human competitors right now. Would you like to enter? Yes. Can you write your name here, please? No, I'm anonymous. No, he actually does use his name. Signed up as the Manslayer, I see. <laughs> Would you care to explain that? Because I've slayed men before. It's a nickname you've had since you were small, you say. Well, it has a certain something, I'll admit. I'm off to support you from the stands. <laughs> no cat calls, I promise. There you are. All done. Break a leg out there. That's it? That's all we had to do? Just write your name on a paper. Let me see our Yeti friend again.
And now I proclaim the Endor Tourney open. How do they hear him? He has no microphone. This arena is huge. The party of pugilism, the carnival of combat begins. And without further ado, let me welcome our first fighter, the man who puts the dead into deadpan. Ladies and gentlemen, the silver-haired scrapper, the mighty manslayer. I don't know what I wasn't expecting. <laughs> say dead to dead pain. None other than the formidably focused, hard hitting Attila the Hun. Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy's name is like Hun. It's time for the first match to commence. Let's Wait, so draw. how do we do this without monsters? Or is it just a cutscene? Oh, he defeated. It's this guy again, defeated his opponents one after the next until finally he disappeared. Such grace, such poise. I was kind of hoping there would be like actual combat for this. Can this unflappable scrapper go all the way? Beautifully fought, oh mighty manslayer. Your martial mastery has moved us. Making his way into the grand finals is the deliciously malicious manslayer. But who will face him there? Let's find out. It's Princess now, if you Alina. Kindly wait while the others duke it out for the other final place. Spoilers. Something happens. He disappears, and nobody knows what happened. Until now. Hearty congratulations on reaching the finals. Your trouble, even without your monsters, eh? Oh, huge news, my friend! Prick up your ears and listen to this! Apparently, Tsar Stepan, the ruler of Samoxpa, had a dream about the return of the Lord of the Underworld. He told his advisors, and now the whole kingdom is abuzz with rumors! Now that the cat is out of the bag, I'm worried that the human folk might track down the Lord of the Underworld themselves. That would be a total catastrophe. We need to act right now and oh. do something about the pesky populace of Samoxva. Okay, so that makes sense now because you get you in four you defeat the tournament and then. You get an urgent message saying you need to come back to Zamovka. It's called Santine back in my day. And everyone's just disappeared. So that's what happens when he doesn't show up. Okay. So he really did it. The poor people of Zamoxva. They did nothing to deserve this. When the true evil begins here. In Diabolic Hall, it's all too much. So that's where it kind of bums me out that they don't really show what happens. You kind of get hinted to it. And if, if you know the story of the actual game, then you know what happens. But if you don't, then it's just like, well... There's a rumor going around that the entire populace of the mock the Moxva just up and vanished overnight. I wonder what happened. Wait a minute, you're it's this guy again, the Manslayer, aren't you? Well, where'd you run off to before the final? <laughs> I had a whole <laughs> castle to destroy. Looks like the Megarals are back. Finally, spotlight is mine again. Just wait to see how much I've improved. Haha. <laughs> he still wants to do trades. Okay. But he imprisoned them in Diabolic Hall. Does that mean we can go there and, like, see them? I'm curious. Oh, I guess I should have gone back to Rose Hill. But that's okay. My curiosity is getting the best of me. I'd like to see people like, You're the one behind this. You did this. 
probably in the jail. Let's see if there's people. And that's where chapter two ends. And then you get to chapter three with Taloon. Oh wait, there's like nobody here. Oh wait, yes, there's a person. Hey you, who are you? I can't believe this is happening to me just because I happen to live in Zamoxva. Well, I'm still the scrawniest one in here, so I'll be last on the menu, I hope. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! Dear Goddess, forget about the others. They're nothing but lost sheep. I'm the one who served you all these years. Please, this is my hour of need. If only one of us can be saved, then let it be me! <laughs> oh no, are they, are they eating the prisoners? No, I've got to keep running, otherwise they'll put on weight and they'll eat me. I need to put on weight. I'm probably not even feeding you that much. There's no response, it's just a corpse. Or so you thought! Oh lord, it's this guy again. I wasn't sleeping, I was just resting my bones, honest. Yeah, that's fine. Skelly man. You can rest your bones. I don't know why you're sleeping in a prison cell, but it's fine. Hmm. A skeleton eating. I don't know where he puts it. I'm ravenous. I'll be all bone and bones if I don't eat something soon. They're still eating soup. Okay, well, let's go back to... Rose Hill, I guess? Zoom. I think that's where they want me to go. I kind of thought they would put more emphasis on the friends we've made so far in that tournament than just you defeated these humans. I thought they were all going to be working for me. Oops, this is the wrong way. They would all be working for me be like, hey, we're going to beat up all these guys for you. You don't have to worry about a thing because you're the king of the underworld. Like, oh, that makes sense. But nope, he does all the dirty work himself. Okay, let's see what happens. My liege, as avowed, I am here to enter thy service. Please, take this. Oh, another Travelite? Where'd you get that? A piece of purple Travelite. With it, new locales are open to thee. A fine chance to bolster thy forces with ever stronger monsters. Yeah, that's a great idea. I am certain it will be of great aid in thy quest to defeat Randolfo the Tyrant. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Hmm. If I may be so bold, having surveyed this village, its defenses seem rather scant. For that reason, I shall remain here to protect Lady Rose as her sworn shield. Yeah, but this, this all, I just feel like I need to play 4 again so I can remember the story and I, I remember most of it, but there's still parts of the story that, that kind of escapes me. It's been years. It's been a very long time since I've played 4. Oh no, low battery. Uh, I saw that earlier. Gotta fix that. Grab this cable and we are plugged in and back in business. This controller won't die on me now. Let's see where we can go next. How much more... How many more options we have. Oh, we're assembling all of the magic Dragon Balls. New location. Just one. Available to visit. We have... Oh no, we have a lot. We can go anywhere we want. They're all... Well, besides this one, there are three. This is three and a half. Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. Um... Let's go back to this place where I was earlier and try to capture some of the monsters that we weren't able to because they were too powerful. But we're stronger now, so we should be able to do whatever we want. Okay, middle echelon.
I have some unfinished business with some of these monsters. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to capture a couple of these guys so I can fill out my monster decks. <laughs> Pokedex. And then... Yeah, look at all these guys. Wow, there's a ton I haven't gotten yet. Only 59% of them. Even a Metal Slime. I saw one of these guys last time I played, and uh, of course he ran, because that's just what they do. But maybe I can get some of these guys I don't have, like the Spiky Slime. And the Belleth, or whatever they're called. we got plenty of these birds. One of my team, actually. Alright, Spiny Slime. I'm back. I'm gonna catch you, finally. Scout, let's go! Okay, 43%. <laughs> Still failed. Still upset them. <laughs> well, that's no good. And my option to do Scout is gone because they are angry. Why isn't Iron Maiden? I guess there's probably a good reason. She probably knows better than me. I don't know anything. I'm just hoping for the best. She just give him the old slap. <laughs> These spiny slimes are absolute menaces. I never would have expected them to be this this painful to deal with, but here we are. And they put them right at the front of this area, so you have lots of problems with them. Plus we gotta wait for the seasons to change too, so that's gonna be a bummer. Okay, Scout. Spiny Slime. He's rank E, so he's pretty decent. Definitely worth having. Ah, oh, finally! Yes! <laughs> You're one of us now. Be spiny slime and good. We'll keep you. Okay. Well, that might be good to merge with something later. Synthesize. Don't have to worry about the bird. Oh, you know it'd be nice if the gates all opened up, since I beat the area. And it kind of looks like they have. Oh, that's really useful, actually. I was thinking that they'd still be closed, but we can just go through here now and get these guys. That is a massive spiny slime! Oh, terrifying. I feel like he's gonna eat me. But let's see if we can scout this guy because we need him. Ooh, 57. I was gonna say, that's better than we usually do. Another new one. Oh, we're gonna have some good synthesis monsters we can do here. I'm excited about that. What else we have? We have... I know Spring of these Bamboo guys come out, and then the... Umbrella guys around too, so hopefully we can find that. And then this, uh, this Eraser Blade. We need you. We need to find you. I still can never get any of these cannon brawlers, but no. I think that's another one that would be good to just have, if I can even get it. Hey, that's like three in a row now. <laughs> cannon brawler, we'll keep you. Definitely gonna need that. The more options we have, the better. Oh, there's Mr. Huge, I don't want to mess with him. He'd probably destroy me in one hit. There's another one of those sacks. What are they supposed to be, like flower bags? I mean, I really could make one synthesize with that other guy that was in the arena for that rank D one, which is pretty good. Ooh, rock bomb shard. Delicious. Or that tastes like Pop Rocks, is kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Just go on your tongue and just 
starts exploding. <laughs> it's just so goofy looking. The sack squash, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can get him. Probably, probably not, but. Nope, okay. That's four in a row, though. Even though I already have one. And since the percentage goes down so much when it's something you already have. Oh, he's ranked G, so he would go up to D if I combine with that, that one. Wow. That might really be worth looking into. Okay. Well, I had a couple minutes to kill before it turns into uh, spring. And that way we can get a whole, who, whole new host of monsters. Not really sure what to do with myself. Decided to just run around and see if I can find anything different. Anything secret, anything hidden. Look at him just stomping around over here like he owns the place. Yeah, I can't defeat him. I wonder if I can get the Gigantes from the beginning of the game yet. I don't know what they're expecting me to do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was just watching, it looked like that scythe guy was just hitting the metal over there. I was like, what's he doing? Can we get through spring? I'm gonna catch whatever I can in spring that I don't have already. I'm gonna go look at my synthesis list, and then I will try to do a Molosseum rank D battle. And then I think... I think I might call it a day here. Playing just over an hour. Oh yeah, here we go, now it's spring. Hey, there's an E-Razor Blade! Good, we need you, friend, we need you. Let's... please join me. This also just looks terrifying. Now. Looks like it's wearing, like, eyeshadow. Whoa! 76.9% chance of catching him! Haha! <laughs> Very good. You're one of us now. You're one of us now! Rank F. Okay, well, somebody wants to synthesize with that one, which is good. I think the bamboo guy is at the beginning of this area, though, so I might have to go back. I don't think it matters. I was gonna warp back, but I'm like, ah, I feel like it's gonna take just as long for me to get to where I'm trying to go than just running through here. This area was a pain to get through. All these gates closed and all these zigzagging patterns. Oh, here's a bamboo dude. You! You're the ringleader. Join me, Link, and I'll make your face the greatest and all of Korra die. Yeah! Or else you will die. How did he have a lower percentage chance of getting caught than Eraser Blade? He's like rank G. I don't get it. Bamboo again. Yeah, rank G. I, it, it makes no sense. Nothing has to make sense here. Maybe he has good defense. Okay, so we have more now. Oh, I've not seen the Umbrella guy. And we still have to get one of these guys from inside the tower. Jinkster. Yeah, those guys were everywhere, so I should be able to grab one. And then I think I'll be good for this area since the Umbrella guys, I probably can't get them right away. I think they come out in, like, fall. A meaty treat! Delicious! Imagine that's, like, beef jerky. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Very good guards you got here. <laughs> Just swinging, swinging sights at me as I walk by. Okay, in here, I know they were around. Actually, they were like everywhere, so let's go. This way for Gremlin. Into what I thought was the cafeteria. These guys having a good time doing their alchemy or whatever they're doing. Jumps right into his mouth. 
I'm sure that didn't taste good. And scout. These guys are like... 66.6? Oh no! And then we failed? How do we fail that? That's beans. My streak has been broken. How about you, little one? Oh, now it's now 51. And <laughs> we catch it anyway. Can't catch it at 66.6, but we can catch it at 51. Confirm. Alright, well, that's cool. I think that's a good amount of monsters, so I hit the wrong button. Let's go back to the altar of Almagation. Almagation. And we will do some synthesizing. Maybe. If there's anything worth doing it with. Your monsters have been fully healed. Thank you, Thank you Jane. Synthesize. We got some new guys. We got... How about Mandrake Major? Let's just do a quick... Ooh. Axorus, rank D. That's pretty solid. Might be worth looking into. Actually, a lot of people have that as an option. Uh, just about everybody has that as an option, actually. <laughs> Lumber and Lizard. This Diver. Hmm. A Warhog. Wow. Seems like everybody can do this Axorus or a bit, uh, Warhog. Must just be a family thing. Okay, nothing that stands out tremendously. Good stuff, but, like, nothing that's like, oh, wow, that's incredible. Dancing Devil? Meh. Dark King Slime. Oh, that's terrifying. That might be worth doing. But also, it's still a ranked piece. It's kind of like a side grade. Also, uh, Meowgician. Bodkin Fletcher, if we want to make Cross-Eye into something, something different, there's an option. Eh, nothing, nothing fantastic. How about you, Spiny Slime? Spiny Slime, give me the fits. You have Spiny Slime and Dragonthorn team up. Ooh, they will be as pokey as can be. I never found anything that I wanted to make with Dragonthorn. That always made me sad. Dragonthorn was a good friend. Hypothermian! That's rank D. That's powerful. Ultra crafty whacker! What? What do you mean? Rando ping? Ultra crafty cracker? What? Huh? I don't know if you can see that stuff. We got crack aficionados. Oh wow, we got a couple options for hypothermians. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, there's another Jinxter. Okay. Or Octopod, if we really want that. Maybe a, a Rock Bomb. Okay, a couple options for Hypothermians, but uh, nothing... Nothing I feel like I need to break the bank for. Jinxster, anything for you? I feel like it's gonna be the same options. Just take a quick glance and then I'll look at the monsters I already have and see if any of them, or the monsters I already use and see if they're any, anything good. Okay. 
Okay, and the rest of these are F and G rank, so I think we're okay with that. Okay, how about you, uh, Cross Eye? You got anything good that you want to be? Once again, we can do Warhog if we really want to. Jargon. And a Wordle. Oh, we can be a duck again? We can be Splatterpunk! <laughs> I miss my duck friend so much. <laughs> Ultra Crafty Debilitator, Bigger Upper, Ultra Crafty Dazzler. That's fun. Yeah, if you want to turn him back into a duck, that's the way to do it. You'd be a sweaty yeti. Just need good jeans, you know? Oh yeah, you can put him with a bullfinch here and be Splatterpunk too. Oh, I miss I miss my duck friend, but a lot of those are options. Okay, um, how about you, Iron Maiden? Can you be anything cool? I mean, you're already cool, but be anything, like, cooler. Super Heavy Metal Slayer Edition! Because we would want... We want to keep her as, like, a spellcaster, but I'm not seeing anything that's a good option for spellcasting itself, so I don't think I want to mess with that. Unless you want to be a mushroom. <laughs> you can always be a mushroom if you want. You can go from a weird cage doll thing to a mushroom. <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm not Call Dragon. I feel like we've looked at Call Dragon before. Well wisher. I just want to see if anyone I currently use can can be upgraded. Maybe a bone idol? Nice. The envy of all bones everywhere. I did not know who that that's who that was. You know, interestingly enough, nothing. And then, how about you, Skeleton Swordsman? I think there's plenty of good options for this one, but I don't think I want to do any transformation yet. I feel like I've looked through these already, but that's okay. I need to refresh my memory. It'll be Carnivine. This is gold, but it's still just a muddy hand, and that's a bloody hand, rank D. Eh, kind of a side grade, I guess. Ooh! Um, oh, Killing Machine! Oh, that's a really good one, actually. Oh, that might be a good... That might be a really good one. I know it'd be, like, two of my monsters I'm currently using. Well, I mean, to be fair, I guess I'm not really using the Hunter mech. But... That's a good one. Okay, we'll we'll put that on the back burner for right now. Okay, so I've got ideas. And if we want to do Sweaty Yeti or Grim Rider and go that direction. We could do that too. But I I would get not doing any Come of that. Again. So Okay, we've got ideas. Ideas are good. Ideas are fantastic. Let us go to the Molosseum. I'm gonna do I'm going to do an arena battle here, and I think I might go check out a new area. Oh, let's see how long this takes, see if I can even win this. And and then we'll, we'll go from there. See how powerful we are! Yeah! I love the power. The power flowing through my bones. I'm going to turn our mini metal sis fun sugar star slime. I still have this one, right? Bring me four medals this slime. My Gooratitude, Gooperb. Altogether, I make that 11 medals now. Without further ado, let me present you with a medal slime for your efforts. Whoa, really?
like, just a metal slime like itself? A monster? Well, that is pretty sick. Ah, look at him. Metal slime, rank E. Defense and agility. Off the chain. We love that. Goo la la. Only nine more medals until I can reward you with a pop idol scroll. What, what do you... I mean, I know what you do with it, but like... For what purpose? Why would I want that? Okay. Do you want to enter? We are going to do... Category D. Wow, we've got over 9,000 gold. What? 9,000? Over 9,000? Not anymore. Because I just spent 500 to go into this tournament. Oh, King Slime. Cool. Bone Idol. I did not know that's who that was. But that's really cool. His name's Aussie. Like osteoporosis, I guess. Category D tournament. First up, it's the silver-haired superstar who is Nobody the knows who he is because he wears a eye mask. The cryptic kid. We, we don't have brains. We're just monsters. I'm just flying bones. And his opponent is Putty, Putty, Uzi, pudding like and Stutty, the indomitable Gooey Louie. Give me the news, Gooey Lewis. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Oh, wow, these guys look like they're more advanced than what I was expecting, but that's okay. Ooh, that was intense. Go! Alright. We'll do this insta buff. Insta so. Oh, wait. Hey, you get to go first? You get to go twice? That's not cool. Oh, good. Zero damage. So we got Wild Slime, Metal Slime Knight, Pasty Pastry, and Cure Slime. I like the thought of Pasty Pastry. Hmm, I'd like some pastries right now. That would be good. Man, I gotta stop streaming when I'm, like, getting ready for dinner. It's always hungry time. In the house of It's This Guy again. I just like snacks and food. Ooh, that one hurt. You gonna take that, Skelly? Because I don't, I don't believe you should. Man, the metal slime that is menace. Kind of need to get rid of him. Other than these other chumps, but maybe Cure Slime would be good to get rid of. Because if he does some healing, that's gonna be a bad time. Oh, good, got the stun. Ah, beans. Defense, nice, nice damage, and then. Gotta do this the old-fashioned way. You know what? Your regular damage is much better than that, and you're just gonna get smacked in the face. We don't need that, friend. We have a winner! The Cryptic Kid! Woohoo! Round one. Just how far can he go? Can he ever be stopped? Raise the roof for the cryptic kid! The roof has been raised. Next oh, the roof is also on fire. Oh no! Undead idealist who's literally flogging a dead horse. Zombie Hote! <laughs> oh, that's a good pun. Oh, what is that? Bones jellyfish! Are you kidding me? How spooky is that? There's a mummy? Get ready for match I want two. the bone jellyfish. What is that? Get set. Go. Where do you find these monsters? Dang! Fantastic! Skeleton Soldier, Skellyfish, Skeleton Swordsman, and Mummy Boy? <laughs> I love the Skellyfish so much, holy cow! I didn't know I could like something so much that I don't even have. Nice. <laughs> 69 Heartbreaker. <laughs> That guy hurts. Ow. Crits? Well, these ones are a little more formidable. Ooh, yeah. Shoot, this one's gonna be tight. Oh, we killed this guy. Fish. I mean, it's good that we did that, but I, I missed it already. He was so cool. I 
can't keep track of which skelly is which. Oh, he's down. Oh no, not my cross eye! Man. Oh, he got smoked! Iron Maiden. Having that defense is actually really good. She's outclassing everybody with that defense. That was unreal! The cryptic kick triumphs once again! What a victory! I've never seen a battle quite like that. Me neither. There's a lot of bones involved. Oh no! Your arm off for a chance to bite your arm off. It's Miss Lee. I seriously want to be the person who comes up with the puns. Whoever does the translation and localization of this, they're just they're, they're masterful. For the final showdown. I could think all day and not come up with half the puns that they come up with. This looks a little intense. I know I keep saying that, but look at these guys. Got a shivery shrubbery. A shrubbery! A living statue. Magmalis. And Brawligagger. Oh, no, not a knuckle sandwich! What do you mean, knuckle sandwich? Oh, I didn't do anything. I'm scared. Malice. Oh, for some reason I thought we did that. I don't know why. I was like, nobody has that attack. Living statues, like, freak me out. Especially when you see them in, um, like, Drag Quest Eleven, and they fall from the sky and stuff. Ooh, crit! Nice! Nicely done. Iron Man's taking a lot of damage. All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate the follow, too. It's been a good time. I'm about to wrap up myself here anyway. Oh, yeah, about to finish this. I think we got this good one. Oh. There we go. Hey, hey we got it. That is the Rank D Tournament defeated! Did you see that? The Category D Champion is... The Platinum Stallion with his own monster battalion! The Cryptic Kid! Let's hear it! Good stuff. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. It's another Rank B. I don't know how much I would struggle with any of the higher ranks at the moment, but... Yeah, I like my team still. They're good. They're very good. Stupendous stuff! You're a born winner! Please be something Here. good. I feel like I never Take get anything good out of these prizes. D prize. A bumper bonus ball. You're really double good double XP. In the world. Everyone will know who you are before long. Cool. Good stuff. Excellent. I'm glad I've been kind of on par with these things. I think somebody wanted to do some synthesizing over here at some point, but let's see. You smell rather tasty, Squee. Hey, you won, didn't you? I bet you could dance with Joy right about now. Any tips on how to beat those pre-battle nerves? I only wish I had your guts, but all I've got is this belly. <laughs> Hello there, stranger. How about you pucker up and let me plant one on you? A plan, that is. Why don't we get two of our monsters together and make us a match? It'll be... Wow, bellissimo. You have a skeleton? Oh, I do not have a skeleton. Um... We... Oh, that's right. He's got Killagilla. Gila monster. Um... No, I don't think I have any basic skeletons. I mean, I know I can walk outside and catch one. I think that'd be fine. But I just wanted to see if there's anything good. There's an airbag in. Nah. It's all rank G. Where do you even find some of these monsters? Meh. 
That's alright. We'll probably just do, like, what... Skeleton. I can't believe you look a gift horse in the mouse. Mouth. <laughs> mouse like that. Change your mind, come back, lay one on me, or tell me. Your choice. Okay, so we can go to... I guess we can't go anywhere yet. Uh, we have we would have to go back to Rosal Tower and Terrestria, and I think I'm just gonna pop into one of these new places now. I wonder if there's they're all about the same difficulty level, so I guess I gotta pick whichever one I want. Now, my personal choice is the Delicious World with all of the snacks hanging around. But also, I'm thinking about that because I'm hungry, and we don't want that. So let's just see. I'm just can be happy to be not in where I just was in the circle of fortitude. Let's see. So yeah, these are all with the exception of this one, which is two and a half. And I guess I do circle of temper. Let's just pop in there. That's probably where they want us to go next. Uh, three, three full monster face difficulty might be a little difficult. So well, let's just see. Let's see what they expect from here. You have arrived at a new circle of Nadiria. Uh, yes, I do upload this on YouTube. Uh, the channel name is... Same as it is here, it's this guy again. All one word. And so yeah, I... I post all my streams and other videos I don't stream on there. Oh, wow, fire world. That's a lot of lava. Cool, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, who's this fireman? It's not very polite to ask Alright, thank you for watching. Está bien. Me llamo Fuego. And you must be underlings of the dragon named Ash, see? No. Ash? I haven't the foggiest who that could be. No comprende. Hmm. Well, you certainly don't look like locals. Tell me then, why are you here? I don't know, our weird transforming tower thing took us here. Do my ears deceive me? You've come to challenge the big hitter. <laughs> then, I must apologize, Avios. Our goals are one and the same. Sorry, I don't quite follow. The big hater is Senor Ash of the infamous Brimstone Boys. He is sacrificing many monsters as part of some bloodthirsty ritual. I command a group of muchachos dedicated to his downfall. Now, I ask you oh. join us in our struggle. Viva la resistance. Muy bien. We are united as allies. Even as we speak, Ash performs his ritual in the sepulcher of flame. In the cave known as... This the place looks so dangerous, just raining lava all the time. And they are completely unbothered. It's pretty fascinating. Oh, he swims! Why do he swim? Let us he gets swim through air like that? Be prepared, amigos. The fight will be caliente. Yeah, now it's good that we have the asbestos amulets and stuff like that. Who would have thought it'd be good to have asbestos? No, they did years ago. It's raining fire. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have... A lot of returning monsters, actually. Not a ton of new ones. That's interesting. I mean, at least once I've seen a bizarre bark, bark, or guard bark. I don't know why I call it bizarre bark. Maybe there was one at some point. I don't know. Um, and there's this pogo and penguin. I've seen these guys. I don't have the opportunity to catch them. Oh yeah, look, he's the eggplant man. Aubergine. 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 Uh, I'm gonna try to catch it. No. It's not gonna work, but that's okay. He's moving so fast. Oh, it's tripping me out. Ooh, that hurt.
Nice. Good battle. All right. Oh, Iron Maiden. Come on, you're so close. You just needed one more thing. So I don't think we're gonna catch any of these guys, but that's okay. Just nice to be in a new area again. It's weird to kind of do that place twice in a row. I, I get it for the story purposes of, um, you know, Percival there. Try again. Yeah. I mean, it's rank E. Ah. All right, that's fine. It's it's all good. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Just gonna try to catch these guys, yeah. I took so much magic. That's crazy. I'm glad we at least got past that story part, and we're into the next areas. There's plenty of options for places to go. There's going to be some options for monsters to synthesize, too. And, yeah, they, they keep you busy in this game. I, I like it. I am a huge fan of this game so far. It's been a lot of fun. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the tower. I'm going to save, and then... I think I'm going to get cracking. I think I'm going to be good for the day, because... Yeah, we got a lot done, and I'm really excited about it. I like getting stuff done. Makes me feel good about myself. I'll go worry about dinner so I won't be as hungry. All that good stuff. Okay, save the game. Might play a little bit off camera too, just to like level up and all that good stuff. Make some decisions about what monsters I want to synthesize. Maybe catch a couple more. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good so far. Look at all the dramatis personae. Captain Barbatos Army, big hitter of the Circle of Fortitude's lower echelon. Barbatos saved his life as a young boy when his village was burned down by soldiers. Pentarac the Guardian. Raph. Oh, the Brimstone Boys. Okay. So that was one of the other ones we're gonna meet. Ash. Ash and Bernie. General Chain, General Two Chains. I I forgot. I I the Shade Thrower, of course. How could I forget the Shade Thrower? All right. Well, that does it for this fantastic episode of Dragon Quest Monsters. We're we're doing good. We've got a lot going on. I'm pretty excited about this. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time for some more Dragon Quest Monsters fun! Yeah! Oh, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Later, everybody.